We are here at the Agricultural Outlook Conference 2019 in Namibia in Windhoek and I have the pleasure of speaking to Mr. Vihake Chimune from the German Development Corporation. Mr. Chimune, thank you very much for speaking to us. And thank you for having me. This is Informante Radio, the sound for a new age. Mr. Chimune, you made some comments this morning, a great speech this morning. In terms of the future for the Namibian agricultural sector, what do you think is, is the main important thing currently for us to be concentrating on? So if you look at the, the theme, the way I was approaching the day's theme, so the, the theme is rebuilding after the, after the drought of 2019. And now there's a lot of assumptions being made in, in the theme. It is assuming first that, in fact, we are going to uh, have a successful rainy season and if we do have a successful one we will actually go into a rebuilding stage. But I looked at it from a different perspective. I'm coming to address your question now. I looked at it from a different perspective to say that maybe what we have now could be the future for us. What if it doesn't rain and we still have to rebuild? So how do we rebuild even if it doesn't rain? So it goes to the core. Now to come to your question, is there one single import, most important thing to do? No. Maybe there are so many things we must do, because mind you that in fact even two um, neighboring farms can have two different production systems, but each of one could be successful in their own right. So we should never, in terms of the way we think, limit ourselves to one thing. We must actually explore the mind to the point that we say everything is possible. So you have a piece of, piece of land that you can produce from. Yeah? Now who said that that land is only fit for livestock? Or it is only fit for this and that? But one piece of land could be fit to maintain maybe five different production systems, even unrelated. Maybe if they are related, good for you. But it could be like, you understand, in each different corner of your farm, you can actually run a very different business from the other one, and you can still be successful at it. So my key message was that if Namibia is going to become drier, which means that we have less water and we have less grazing, yeah, how are we going to actually make those decisions that we have to make and take decisions around which farming ventures would actually not be water and grazing dependent. So I really think that if you, if you go on that tra trajectory and you, you explore opportunities alongside those questions, I really think that they, you might end up with certain value chains that in the past was not making sense. But maybe in the future to come could be the future of, of farming in Namibia. So I really think that going back to your question, so many things we can do. The only limitation is the level and depth of our own thinking. I think that is the biggest limitation. Yeah. Should we um, consider those kind of diverse thinking strategies only in Namibia or could we look at other countries, maybe our neighboring countries, Botswana, South Africa? We can look at neighboring countries. And if you look at neighboring countries, we are the driest of all of them. So which means that in fact they are sitting in areas where they, they are better off and they can produce certain commodities with ease or more less expensive than what we can do here in Namibia. And that goes to the key question. What is it what we can do together with our neighbors? So if our neighbors, let's say Angola or South Africa, is able to produce in abundance of these raw agricultural material, what is it what we can actually take from them to value it? and still build a sustainable value addition uh, sector here, but it is based on raw material that actually comes from outside. Who said this cannot and should not be done? Or is it only, you understand, because of the limitation of our own men to say that I can only value at what I can produce. But the world over, it doesn't say that. So you look at, you understand, prospective uh, business projects, yeah, uh, world over, where different countries can actually team up to produce one final product. 
So each one of them looks at their own capacity and capabilities and they say we are best suited in our environment to produce this. And another country say but we can produce this. But a combination of all these products put together and um, they can actually produce one single output. Yeah? So parts for, a, for, a, for an air aircraft can be made in different countries and different locations but the assembling point can be also located in another country. So that is possible. And I want to transform that and bring it to agriculture and say, maybe we must actually rethink how we want to actually work in combination with one another. Well, that's certainly inspiring, Mr. Vihake Chimune, here at the Agricultural Outlook Conference 2019. Mr. Chimune, thank you very much for talking to us. This is Infomante Radio, the sound for a new age.